One, one of my, one of, I think one of my great advantages is that I have very low expectations. <laughs> and, and I mean that. Most of the Stanford graduates have very high expectations. Uh, you, you, and you deserve to have, have high expectations because you came from a great school. You were very successful. You're at the top of your class. Obviously, you were able to pay for tuition. And, and then you're graduating from one of the finest institutions on the planet. You're surrounded by other kids that are just incredible. You should have very, you naturally have very high expectations. People with very high expectations have very low resilience. And unfortunately, resilience matters in success. I don't know how to teach it to you except for I hope suffering happens to you. And I was fortunate that I grew up with a, with, with my parents providing a condition for us to be successful on the one hand, but there were plenty of opportunities for setbacks and suffering. And, and to, to this day, I use the word, the phrase pain and suffering inside our company with great glee. And the reason, and I mean that, boy, this is gonna cause a lot of pain and suffering. And I mean that in a happy way because you wanna train, you wanna refine the character of your company. You want, the, you want greatness out of them. And greatness is not intelligence. Greatness comes from character, and character is informed out of smart people. It's formed out of people who suffered. And so that's it. And so if I could wish upon you, I don't know how to do it. For all of you Stanford students, I, I wish upon you ample doses of pain and suffering. 